An observer's line of work is an interesting role to explain, where the goal is to ensure that the fish populations will sustain. When a haul comes on board, then the fun of sampling can start. And to keep the time managed right, it helps to follow these parts. From the live tanks to the sorting belts, this is how the fish flow. And whether it affects the samples or not, it's a good point to know. When the random sampled half is running, it's time to stand in a spot. It's where all of the bycatch are collected, which can be a little or a lot. Another part of the process is obtaining an average weight of hake. They're collected at the diverter board to help make it a piece of cake. Then the sample period continues until the factory belts are cleared to eliminate size bias so that the numbers and weights are not veered. But the real fun begins after sorting, counting, and weighing all of the fish which will involve the priority list to help manage what tasks to accomplish. Because there are salmon wand tests and genetic fin clips to take, as well as otoliths and sex length frequencies from a basket dump of hake. Next, there are sex length frequencies from certain rockfish species within the sample. And don't forget the collection of their age structure pairs too, if the time is ample. When all of the specimens are collected and the species composition is completed, It's time to go to Atlas, where the data is entered and the checks are repeated. But before the day's end, the flow scale test is performed by the crew. And without fail, a new hull comes on board for a new sample to ensue.